Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk through some of my favourite ethical and sustainable brands. As you guys probably know, particularly if you've been following along with my blog, I've really been trying to make a huge effort to be more intentional with my purchases and also shop more responsibly. So those are things that are really important to me. While I'm not perfect, and yes I am probably still going to buy things from H&M and from Topshop and ASOS, I do think that it is really important to shift your mindset and think a lot more about how long we're going to have things in our wardrobe because I really think that's the underlying key to everything um, and I will link some blog posts in the description box below just about what ethical and sustainable fashion is and sort of how I'm trying to incorporate that into my own shopping habits and changing my shopping mindset but just as a top line overview if something has been produced ethically that refers to social issues such as wages or working conditions if something has been produced sustainably that refers to environmental issues such as trying to reduce their impact on the environment, not use toxic chemicals throughout the manufacturing process, and also reduce reusing and recycling. So I'm going to jump into it and I'm not really going to talk through these in any particular order and I thought I might start with Redone. So if you aren't familiar with Redone, essentially what they do is they repurpose old Levi's and they turn them into something new and they use water conserving methods. I believe the jeans might be manufactured in LA as well, but everything is one of a kind. So they've got very limited quantities too, which I think is really great and again, it's a huge nod to that sustainability side of things. So a few of my favorite things from the brand, definitely their denim, but they also do t-shirts and stuff as well. So the first pair of jeans that I ever bought from Redone are the um, high-waisted skinny crop jeans. And you guys will have seen these so many times, especially if you watch my What I Wear in a Week videos. And what I like about these is that they're really flattering. They've got just a little bit of give, but they are really structured and sturdy. Um, and they feel really comfortable to wear. I like the raw edge hem, although they do come... They do have styles, should I say, which don't have the raw edge hem, which I think is really nice too if you don't love that more distressed look. My most recent addition, um, these were really kindly sent to me from the brand, uh, is this wash black pair, which I really like and I've been wearing a lot recently. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've really been gravitating towards all black looks. I don't know what it is because spring is a time where I should probably be wearing a little bit of color. Uh, then I also have uh, one of their tees as well and I've really been wanting to try out their t-shirts. I have had my eye on their white tee for a long time and if you want to see how this fits I did feature it in a previous video which I will link up here in case you guys want to go and have a watch but it's really nice and soft. It's made from really beautiful cotton and this is in collaboration with Hanes so yeah I thought that's really cool. So that's the first brand that I wanted to mention. The next brand that I wanted to mention is Stella McCartney, which is obviously a really high-end luxury brand. And I think that's one of the things that I really admire about it and why I tend to look to Stella McCartney for new wardrobe additions, stuff that's really classic uh, that I know I'm going to have for a long time. And I feel like they've really set a standard or the bar for high-end brands. Now, they use eco-friendly fabrics and they also have targets in order to reduce greenhouse emissions, which I think is really wonderful. A couple of my favorite pieces from the brand include this pink sweater, which I will put a photo here so you guys can see what it looks like on. I actually bought this pre-loved, so again, driving that sustainability. I believe they do have a partnership with The Real Real, where if you donate Stella McCartney clothing, you can receive a voucher. I'm not 100% sure on the details. I believe that's probably only if you're a US resident, but I did think that that was a really wonderful initiative. So. That is the first piece. It's really nice and soft and it's of course made from natural fibers. And then the second piece I wanted to mention is, and I just realized I forgot my Edith coat, which I adore. You guys probably already know this because I wear it all the time. It's one of my most worn items for winter, which I will put a photo here. That is just really beautifully made, really nice tailoring. Um, and to that point on tailoring, the other piece I wanted to feature is this ivory silk blazer and I actually do have the matching trousers for this which I managed to find separately on the real real which was just a major lucky moment but this is just a really impeccable cut I love how nice this looks on it's very flattering and I think that's one of the 
One of the main things I've found with all of the items that I've bought from Stella McCartney is that they're all really flattering, they're all really well cut, very very nicely designed which obviously you would hope so given that it does have a much higher price point but again like I said I really love the fact that they have special targets in place to try and reduce their greenhouse emissions and that they do put that focus on using eco-friendly fabrics so huge thumbs up in my book. And next let's talk about Evelyn. This is probably the one you guys thought I'd mention first. So I think Evelyn is a really great gateway into shopping more sustainably and more ethically. So they really led the charge on radical transparency and you can see that they have got initiatives in place to try and reduce their impact on the environment. So their denim in particular is produced in a LEED certified factory and they try to reduce the amount of water used. So I think they recycle the water in that factory and then recently they relaunched their entire silk collection which is now um, what's it called? They've called it clean silk. So essentially uh, what that means is that there aren't any harmful chemicals used in the production of those silk pieces, which I think is really lovely. Obviously you don't want to have all those chemicals touching your skin. You just don't know what that's going to do for you. Uh, so a couple of my favorite items from the brand have to be this polka dot cami, I've actually got this in the navy and white spot too. I think these are perfect for spring and summer. Definitely one worth snapping up. I actually really like the whole polka dot collection that they did and it's a really rare pattern from the brand. They do stripes occasionally but polka dots is a new one. And this is made from a recycle, there's a recycled fabric, it's a recycled polyester I believe. Um, I can't remember what it's made of. It's made of Cupro, that's right. And this is just a really nice piece, really relaxed and loose fitting, which I like. The next one is a newish edition, and I actually got sent this in another color from the brand, and I loved it so much that I went and bought it in the wash black. Uh, it is their cotton turtleneck sweater. Uh, I think I will have worn this in a what I wear in a week video, so I will link that up here so you guys can see what it looks like on. But Honestly, just the most comfiest, snuggliest, oversized sweater, a really good transitional piece. I also think it's great if you live in more of a warmer climate for winter time because you can layer thermals or something long sleeved underneath and you'll still be really nice and warm and toasty with this over the top. It's very heavyweight, so yeah, just really good for those transitional seasons. Then their denim, of course. I think my favorite style of jean from them has to be their cheeky straight leg jean, and I've got it in two washes. I've got the bone, and I've also got the wash black. Uh, I've got the bone pair here, which you guys will have seen again on my blog a lot. I did a whole review on these if you want to get a bit more info on them. I will say that the bone wash does tend to stretch out a little bit at the hips, whereas the wash black doesn't. So do keep that in mind if you are thinking of sizing down. I definitely think that the wash black fit true to size. Then finally, their day heels. Now, I think these are probably one of my most worn shoes and you can probably tell they're super scuffed at the toe now. I have really just thrashed these. I've worn these when I've gone out for drinks with my girlfriends just because I haven't minded if they've gotten a little nick or something like that on them because they have been so well loved and they're really comfortable. I did get these half a size small so they fit a little bit snug on my heel and when I go to replace them I will certainly be sizing up for sure uh, but they're just a really comfortable shoe. They mold to the shape of your foot which I think is really nice and I have found also I haven't even need to resole them either so very hard wearing, really good quality as well definitely worth the purchase. Next brand is Kuyana. Now if you aren't familiar with Kuyana, they have this philosophy about fewer and better. So it's sort of more of a slow fashion brand. So their items are intended for you to keep them and have them for a really long time, which I think is really wonderful. They also have this fantastic initiative, which when you uh, check out, you can opt to receive a bag uh, that you can send some items to go and support victims of abuse, which I think is a really fantastic initiative. Uh, my favorite piece from the brand is obviously my structured tote bag which I have in the black with the blush pink interior. Now I have done a comparison of this with a couple of other tote bags which I'm going to link up here and I am planning on doing a full review of this bag which is going to go live on my blog this week. So if you aren't following my blog you can do so or go check it out via the link in the description box but this has just been such a wonderful addition to my wardrobe. It has been one of the most practical bag purchases that I have made this year and it's 
it's my second bag from the brand and I have to say from also past experience they are really long wearing they are very well made it's very high quality you you definitely get what you pay for and then some and it's honestly it still looks brand new aside from the fact that the leathers may be softened up a little bit so yeah that is Kuyana I'm actually really excited to talk about the next brand because it's a New Zealand brand and I really love supporting local designers where I can. I really love being able to support homegrown designers, which is what you would say in New Zealand. So the brand is called Koto. It's actually spelt kowtow, but Koto is how you pronounce it. Uh, and they have so many wonderful practices in place to be more sustainable and more ethical, which I think is really wonderful. So for a start, they only use GOT certified inks and dyes for all of their fabrics fabrics for all the prints that they have. All the cotton is fair trade certified and then they ensure that all workers are paid more than a fair wage. So they also use sustainable packaging as well. I have just one piece from the brand and I really want to add a couple more items from them definitely to my wardrobe over the next year. They're really kind of simple basic pieces so it's a great place to get the building blocks of your wardrobe from. I've got this black t-shirt dress that's really not going to show up on camera but it's sort of got a ribbed detail to it which I think is really nice. It's very simple. It's just a long midi dress which you can belt at the waist to give it a little bit more shape uh, but it's just a really nice easy piece. Great for the hot weather here in Sydney. It's also quite heavyweight too and you could layer it underneath the long sleeve top to wear it lots. So yeah, that is Koto. Um, I'm really enjoying talking about all these ethical and sustainable brands just because I love shopping from these brands and I really just want to be able to share them with you as well. Uh, so the next one is Girlfriend Collective. Uh, let me just grab my <laughs> gym gear. So Girlfriend Collective is a uh, essentially sustainable gym gear so all of their gym wear is produced from recycled plastic so they use plastic bottles to make the fibers uh, and it's uh, hue manufacturing as well so I've got a couple of sets from the brand uh, first of all I've got this little bra I think this is called the, uh, is it the Topanga or Moringa maybe it's the Moringa bra I like it's got the little zip up at the center and it really holds you in as well they're really really comfortable really nice and stretchy and I've also got the high-waisted compression leggings as well I will insert a photo of what they look like on but just really chic comfortable gym gear and they come in loads of colors as well so I think that's really great to see that they are using or recycling materials in order to produce their garments next I wanted to mention a basics brand called Organic Basics. So you can get things like teas from there, but they also do really great underwear, which is what I have from the brand. They use GOT certified cotton and all the factories that they use to manufacture their products are visited every three months just to ensure that workers are being treated fairly and that they are still being paid a fair wage and that they have safe working conditions. So I can say wholeheartedly that I 100% recommend their little soft bras. I'm probably about a C cup, B or C cup, and this is super comfortable. It really secures me. I don't feel like I'm going to fall out. It's really, really comfortable, really soft. The only thing I will say is that it is prone to picking up Winston's cat hair. So <laughs> I just have to make sure that I have brushed him properly because um, otherwise his fur gets on everything. So that's Organic Basics. Then. Uh, there's just two more that I've got in my wardrobe that I want to mention and then I'm going to talk about some other brands that I would love to try in the future that have been kind of on my radar. Obviously there are so many more ethical and responsible and sustainable brands out there. I can't really talk about all of them but I just wanted to highlight some of the ones that I'm familiar with. So next is Abel. Now I've got this little crossbody tote bag from them which I think is really cute it's actually the bag that I've been using at the moment uh, and they have a huge focus on social responsibility so their goal is to empower disadvantaged women and end the cycle of poverty which I think is really amazing so they also uh, most recently decided to publish their wages so they've got this whole accountability section on their website I'm gonna link it in the description box below because it's worth going and checking out I haven't seen any other brand do that which I think is very very cool uh, but yes yeah, so this has been produced under really socially responsible working conditions and it's a really nice high quality little leather bag. The final brand I wanted to mention is Allbirds which is another Kiwi brand and they make sustainably produced 
uh, merino wool sneakers. So I've got a creamy white pair. Mine are actually a little bit dirty because I've gone to the park with Nigel and uh, kind of trekked through the dirt. But I love the fact that you can just throw these in the washing machine. The laces are made from recycled water bottles and then I believe they also use castor bean oil in the soles as well. So that's all birds, then just a few brands that I want to try and I've written some notes down because I'm not 100% familiar with these brands. I really like their styles though and like I said I'd love to kind of look at maybe getting a couple of their pieces in the future. Um, and maybe what I might do is drop a couple of my favorite items from each of these brands in the description box below as well just so you can get a taste for their styles and I'll also put some pictures on the screen. Uh, the first one I wanted to mention is Reformation and honestly if you haven't heard of this brand have you been hiding under a rock? <laughs> I feel as though all of the cool girls on Instagram have been wearing it and I really like the fact that they use dead stock fabrics to produce all of their clothing. I think that's very cool. They've got very very trendy very of the moment clothing uh, but but it also looks like it's kind of thing that you could potentially have in your wardrobe for a long time as long as you went with the more classic silhouette. I do have a couple items from the website on my wish list and I would love to pick them up for spring and summer but we'll see how we go. Um, and then the next one I wanted to talk about is Veta. They sort of are a responsible fashion brand and they produce all of their clothing from dead stock or sustainable materials but also in addition to that all of the different pieces within the capsule collections are designed to be worn together and they have quite a number of items which can be worn multiple ways as well. So they've got this really beautiful cardigan dress which can be worn open just like a cardigan or it can be worn as a dress one way you can flip the dress around. I just think that it's really wonderful that they're trying to make every single piece that they produce really versatile and so that you can wear it limitless ways. Uh, the next brand is Doen. So they have vintage inspired clothing, which I think is really beautiful, really feminine. It's probably not 100% my style, but I would still love to try out maybe a little top or something like that from the brand. I like the fact that they really want to empower women and their mission is to decrease the gender pay gap at every single point in the supply chain. And so they partner with manufacturers or uh, suppliers and that also support that commitment. I think it's great to see women trying to support other women. So that's a, another one. Then there's Christy Dawn. So they use only dead stock fabric and I actually saw on their Instagram that they're producing boots made from dead stock fabric, which I think is really cool and they actually look really nice as well. Um, and all of their clothing is produced in LA uh, and they give their seamstresses a competitive wage. Then I've got two more and these are both shoe brands. I haven't tried either of them yet, but very curious. So the first one is Veja and this is a French brand and they produce environmentally friendly sneakers. So the sneakers are made from materials that are sourced from organic farming and they don't use any chemicals or pollutants at any point throughout that process. The sneakers are super cool as well and they also have vegan friendly options which is great from that ethical viewpoint. Then the final one I wanted to mention is Nisolo and I see so many people talking about this brand. A lot of the girls that I follow on Instagram and also on YouTube and their blogs they all have Nisolo shoes. Now I don't believe that you can buy their shoes if you live in Australia which is sort of part of the reason why I haven't yet but they offset emissions by protecting threatened forests and all of their employees are paid beyond a fair wage. So they have some quite cool styles. They do a lot of clogs. If you like that type of shoe, um, I think it's a really great place to go and buy them from. And from what I understand, they're very well made, very high quality. So those are my favorite sustainable and ethical brands and also some other brands that are on my radar. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. As I mentioned, this is by no means an exhaustive list and maybe I'll try and do a bit of a rundown on my blog. There are directories out there which do have a much wider selection so maybe I'll drop that in the description box too just so you can go and check out some other brands which might be new to you and also new to me um, and if you do have any ethical or sustainable brands that you personally love please let me know in the comment section because I'd love to go and check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye!